Adam Sackler, one of the most complicated and beloved characters on television, known for his yelling. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to let Hannah break this apart. I'm fucking run off in a car if I have to. Philosophizing. Uh, Hannah, mm -hmm. I hear where you stand. And as an outsider looking in, I'm impressed. But as a man living my man life, my desire for you cannot be repressed. Being tall. And she acted like I was teaching her everything about fucking history, about sex. And general oddness. It's my tooth. But how does this little big guy... You don't want to know me. You want to come over in the night and have me fuck the dog shit out of you, then you want to leave and write about it in your diary. Turn into this big, big guy. I want to raise your child with you. What's the deal with that guy? Is he like a great thinker or just a total fucking idiot? In this video, we're going to find out. OK, so when we first meet Adam, he's a scrawny player. At this point, it's unclear if he's an actor, a woodworker, or just someone who's perpetually at home having sex. When I get back, I want you to be in the exact same position, but take all the rest of the shit off. Will you get a condom? I'll consider it. He's got a no strings attached thing worked out with the main character, Hannah, and even that seems to be too much of a commitment for him. What are you doing? <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing? Shouldn't do that. Seems like it's not going to happen. And yet, would you believe it? In no time at all, our favorite player becomes the boyfriend type. Do you want me to be your boyfriend? Is that it? Do you want me to be your fucking boyfriend? Romantic. After that, Adam gets pretty into the whole dating thing. Turns out, Adam really likes Hannah. But then she breaks up with him. And he doesn't take it very well. I'd die if you go away. I don't want to be with you. You do. We laid right there in that bed a month ago. And you told me, if you ever broke up with me, that I shouldn't let you. And how I was the only one that made you feel anything. And don't I'll... get up, Adam. Don't get up. And you said that I made you feel like your whole body was a clit. I never said that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And thus, the birth of the truly cringy, super needy Adam. Hot, but needy. Standing outside. Not making a sound Creeping around You destroyed my heart Thanks Adam hits peak creep level and shows up at Hannah's house in the middle of the night Think go to my It's not fucking funny <laughs> What are you doing here? <laughs> You gave me a key. That's a key for emergencies. Well, it's an emergency. I can't find my cast. And so, you know, she calls the cops, and Adam gets arrested. All this gets him pretty mad, and so he does what any angry and sad person would do. He steals a dog! Dog? His name is Dog. I just got him, so I haven't had time. Oh, so it's like a, like a breakup dog. Oh, it's not a breakup dog. I just wanted a dog, so I got a dog. Okay. I stole him. Which Adam sort of returns. And after that, he does manage to get it together and even lands a new girlfriend. Eventually, he gets a distressed FaceTime call from Hannah, and it's game over for our boy's newfound relationship. Adam runs, literally, to Hannah's side to help her in her time of need, and he looks good doing it. I feel like I'm unraveling Adam. I'm really, really scared. Stay right where you are. I'm coming to you. Keep looking at me. Don't move. Needless to say, we have just bore witness to the fourth pivotal evolution of Adam, the loving and committed boyfriend again so can we please just try and have fun no 
No, we can't. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> Then he gets cast in a Broadway play. So things seem to be really coming together in his life. He's making money. He's being affirmed in his career. He has goals now and drive. Adam soon realizes that he doesn't want a distracting and complicated relationship taking away from his new momentum. I don't get it. You didn't even care about the play. Well, he's... but here's the thing. I did. I always did. I do. It feels amazing to finally care about something. It feels amazing and scary, and I'll always regret it if I don't give myself a chance to just do it all the way. You sound like you're in like fields of trees. Here he comes, folks. The new phase of Adam. Hair longer than ever before, and ready to take the world by storm. And somewhere along the way, this new, mature Adam meets someone. And her name is Mimi Rose Howard, an interesting, chic artiste who fits his new, grown-up, uber-independent lifestyle. I like those jellyfish who only need to fuck once to have generations of kids. Sometimes I just can't tell what I'm even here for at all. Truly, Adam, I care about you so much. <sighs> I care about my butcher. I need my butcher. I can't butcher meats. I need my butcher more than you need me. No, I don't need you. Anyway, believe it or not, Adam's new mature girlfriend ends up being kind of a sociopath, and so they break up. What is the right choice, Mimi Rose, huh? What is it? Tell me what the choice is. I choose to be alone. I choose no one. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Thanks to this minor setback, Adam regresses just enough to beg Hannah to come back to him. But this time when Hannah says no, Adam actually listens. Please. I can't. Yeah, you can. I can't. Okay. You've come a long way from season one, tall guy. So being a serious actor adult living with an artist girlfriend in a gorgeous loft didn't quite work out the way he'd hoped. But it seems like Adam's going to be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> yes. No. You're a liar. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm evolved. It's good. I don't care. I'm happy for her. Cool. Great. <laughs> I don't care either. <laughs> And then he kisses Jessa, his ex-girlfriend's best friend. Nice. So, grown-up Adam continues to build his career, but now that he's determined to be with Jessa, some of his messier qualities start creeping back in. Jessa, come back here! In the end, Jessa and Adam make the mature decision to get over their drama with Hannah by making a movie about her and Adam's past relationship. It's a, it's a film. Yeah. It's a film about the complex dynamic that the three of us have been fostering for, for years now, mm -hmm. if you really think about it. And I know it's really, really painful, so you don't have to make the decision now whether you want to sign a release or not. We're still not there yet. We, uh... The project proves to be cathartic for Adam, making this moment a true marriage between his newfound emotional maturity and his intrinsic love of chaos. It's also, you know, the hottest he's ever been. This final stage of Adam is the true amalgamation of all Adams before. He's got love in his life, he's got a promising career, good friends, and he still makes time for screaming and being tall. What a guy! If you want to witness Adam's evolution for yourself, and trust me, you do, then check out Girls, included with your Amazon Prime subscription. Women are funny. Your wife must have a sense of humor. She's seen you naked. Oh. 
dropped my cucumber. Do I call you or do I just commit a crime? Probably committing a crime would get me to you quicker. This is me at my most inviting. 